All right, first time I filmed a normal video in a while. Let's do this. <laughs> there book friends and welcome to my channel my name is Megan and today I am doing my TBR for the book tubeathon so I am really excited for this this is my first time participating in the book tubeathon so I'm just like full of excitement for this readathon that the whole community participates in and it's just it's just ah, I'm just beyond excited for this but without further ado I'm going to be showing you the books that I'm going to do my best to get through for the week of a book tubeathon, and the first challenge is to let a toy cost a toy toy. I can't English properly. I'm so sorry. Let a coin toss decide what book you are going to read, and for that, I have two books here. Oh, let me grab them. I have *The Book of Dust* by Philip Pullman. And I have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. And these two also have beautiful spines. So whichever book I pick for this challenge is going to be the one with the beautiful spine challenge as well. I think they're very pretty. So yeah. The Bone Season is going to be heads. And the Book of Dust will be tails. So we'll see which one I get to. And I have a loony with me. It's a one dollar coin in Canada. I have this one's a funky looking loony. It's not the it's usually a duck. Anyway, see if I can do something fancy with this editing. Drum roll, please. Let's do this. Let's. And it is Chales. So for that one, that is the Book of Dust, then. All right, they were both really big books, but they've been books that I've been wanting to get to for a while. This one's been out for like over half a year and I still haven't gotten around to reading it. I really want to because I love the Golden Compass series and this book is a prequel to that series. So I'm excited to get to this one for this readathon. It's gigantic, it's almost 430 pages, so yay. So yeah, that's the first book on my TBR. Right. And then the s second challenge is to read a book about something you want to do. And for that one, I have Daughter of the Siren Qu Queen by Trisha Levenseller. And you're probably wondering why I picked this book for this challenge. It has a lot of things I want to do. I would love to learn how to um, be a better sword fighter. I have actually taken a fencing class once, and that was a lot of fun. And I would like to get better at that. I also wanted to be a mermaid when I was a kid and I know that that's obviously not something that I could actually do but I read a lot of fantasy and my TBR is consists mostly of fantasy or science fiction so there wasn't a lot to choose from in the category in that kind of category of like real things that I could actually learn how to do so I'm just gonna go with sword fighting and maybe being a better swimmer I would like to learn how to swim better maybe go snorkeling and diving one of these days. That would be a lot of fun actually. So I am definitely excited to this one. It's a fun pirate adventure fantasy with some romance in it that I don't think is going to take me too long to read. So it was a good one to add to my TBR for this readathon. The next challenge is to read a book that has been adapted into a movie and also watch the movie. And for that one I have one that has been sitting on my bookshelf for over half a year as well and that is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, and this one is another huge one. I don't know why I'm doing this myself. It's like, it's over 500 pages, but I have wanted to read this for forever, and I also have the audiobook uh, on hold at the library. It's in CD form. I couldn't get it on Overdrive, um, so I'll probably be reading this book and half listening to the audiobook to try and help me get through more books for this um, readathon because I heard the audiobook was amazing for this so I really wanted to listen to it on the audiobook because I heard that it was just fantastic so yeah that's another one that's my th that's the book for the third challenge challenge number four is to read a book with green on the cover and for that I have a uh, read the gates by Sabah Tahir I have had this one for over a month I, I got this one when it came out and I was excited to read it but I just haven't really gotten around to it yet and I kind of need a little bit of a push, so I'm going to be using this 
uh, I'm going to be using the book Tubeathon to try and push me to read this book. And yeah, there's some green there, and it's another fantasy one because fantasy is my favorite genre. And I don't think that this one is going to take me too long to read because it's it's a bigger book but it's like super fast paced and it just the second book the first and second book in the series had me hooked so i feel like if i just sit and read i should be able to get through this book relatively fast and maybe a day or two so that's another one the next challenge is to read a book while wearing the same hat the entire time and there we go this is my hat and i've got my sunglasses as well right I'm so Canadian. I love it. It's just, it's it's perfect. I bought this hat at the dollar store and I, I love it. It's so great. Um, for this challenge, I'm going to be reading Hounded by Kevin Hearn. This is a um, urban fantasy uh, with a lot of Irish myths and folklore and legends in it and apparently it's just a fun adventure romp that my mom has been constantly telling me to read. She's got all the books by this author. There's like nine books in this series and I'm going to be listening to the audiobook format for this one because again time and things I'm doing and audiobooks are just super helpful for that. So I'm going to be listening to the audiobook more so than actually reading this book. I might pick it up if I have free time, but probably just using the audiobook format for this book. But I'm excited to get to it. It should be fun. And the last challenge is to read seven books. So I have five books on my TBR right now, so that means that I have to add two more books. And one of the other books that I have is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. This is another bigger book, but it's a YA uh, dystopian series that I don't think is going to take me too long to read. Um, and the movie comes out in August, so I want to read it before the movie comes out. I feel like it's a fun, fast-paced action book that it's not going to take me a crazy amount of time to read and then it might just keep me hooked so we'll see how I like that and then since it's seven since I need to add one more book to my TBR to try and complete the challenge I am going to be adding a book that is very different from all the other books that I have mentioned it is a classic I have a few classics that are on my shelf over here that I have been wanting to get to for a while but I just haven't really had any incentive to read them and I don't think I'm going to get to it, but just in case I am able to get to it, unlikely, but I'll try. And that is Persuasion by Jane Austen. This is a classic, and um, I have seen a couple of different versions of the movie, and I've really enjoyed them, but I have never actually yet, I have actually yet to read the physical book, and I really want to, to see what I think of it. I've read Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and I love that book so much. And I just, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get to this and enjoy it. But it's a very different book. I wanted to add something to my TBR that was a little, uh, that was not fantasy and something that would shake up what I was reading so it didn't feel too clogged down with huge, heavy fantasy books. But I don't know if I'm going to get to this. I'll do my best. Uh, but we'll see what happens because that's a lot of books on my TBR and I don't read that many books a month so trying to read seven books in one week that's pushing it that's really pushing it for me but I will try so here's my TBR for the book tubeathon look at all this there's so much to read in one week ah I don't know why I'm doing this to myself I pick such big books but all the books on my TBR are huge because I just read a lot of bigger books generally speaking so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'm... I'm probably not going to get to all these, but I will do my best. So let me know down below if you're participating in the Booktubeathon and if you have gotten your TBR up yet because I love watching those videos. So just let me know if you have that up. I would love to watch it and to see what everybody else is reading for this. So that is all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you want more bookish content from me. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye!